video provides a quick look at the Bunsen burner which is shown here. It's attached to the gas supply using thin wall tubing and gas enters the lower port and rises through the Bunsen where it's ignited as it exits from the top. The air vent at the bottom of the burner can be used to control the temperature of the flame. It's much easier to ignite the gas when the air vent is closed, so do make sure it's closed before starting. So with the air vent closed, the tubing is connected. The tap fully turned on and the gas ignited with a spark. Notice that when the gas is first ignited, the flame produced has a yellow colour. This indicates that the gas isn't burning efficiently and it's producing a lot of carbon. But by opening the air vent, we get more air and therefore oxygen to mix with the gas and produce a cleaner burning flame. A blue flame is a clean burning flame. Never use a yellow flame for heating purposes in the lab because it will produce a lot of carbon or soot on the surface of whatever it is you're heating. Now looking more closely at the flame, we can see an inner cone-shaped flame which has a different blue colour to the rest of the flame. The inside of this blue cone is actually composed of air and therefore it's relatively cold. The hottest part of the flame is just at the very tip of the cone where the air is now fully mixed with the surrounding gas. So we shouldn't let the inner cone come in contact with any items we are heating because it's cold. The best practice is always to place the item being heated just outside the extreme tip of the blue cone since this is the hottest part of the flame. And here we see a porcelain crucible being heated in the Bunsen flame. Again, note how we place the item to be heated at the tip of the inner blue cone, the hottest part of the flame and see how the underside of the crucible is red hot, indicating that it's being heated properly. So that completes our quick look at the Bunsen burner. Your instructor may want to point out some additional features and provide more information on heating with the Bunsen as it applies to any specific experiment which calls for its use. For more videos dealing with the use of apparatus and techniques used in the chemistry lab, don't forget to check out our YouTube channel at Capilano U Chem Lab, or for a complete catalog of our videos, visit our website at capuchem.ca/labs. Thank you for watching.